Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lakeshore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer, and we're walking through the book of Acts, learning about the early church and how that might be a model for us to live as resurrection people during this Easter season. Yesterday, we looked at the deacon Stephen and how his arrest. And today we look at the entire chapter 7 of the book of Acts. So I'm not going to read it to you, but you can go and read and study that. If you want to do it right now before I share more, go ahead and just pause the video and read it. But what we have is, is Stephen's defense, his speech to the council of Jewish leaders who has had him arrested and false witnesses and all of those things brought forward. What Stephen does is he pulls out the history of the faith. He connects himself and the message of Jesus with the prophets, with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He acknowledges to them that they were the ones who put Jesus to death. And he ends it, uh, his speech, with these words. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and his murderers. You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, yet you have not yet kept it. Well, if you hear those words... You might feel angered. Well, it's no surprise. The council were told that became enraged and they ground their teeth at Stephen and they sent him out to be stoned. Rocks thrown at him until he was dead. And while they're throwing the rocks, Peter sees Jesus and says, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He then knelt down on the ground and cried in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And then he died. And then we're told that there was a young man, Saul, who was there, who approved of all that had happened. So once again, we see the powers of the world struggling to hold on to a way of life that was once wonderful and helpful to them, but is no longer fit for a current society. And when they begin to hear the things of how their own past tell this story, this secular story over and over again, of God sending prophets and the people rejecting the prophets, and God sending prophets and the people rejecting them, and persecuting them and kicking them out, now they're like, oh, well, we would never do that. But Stephen is saying, you are. You're stopping right now the will of God from being at work in the community. They don't want to hear it. So the powers of the world win at this moment. And Stephen dies a cruel death. Stoning, But even then, he looks to Jesus and he says essentially what Jesus said, forgive them. I am done, Jesus. And he dies. When you go out into the world, when you speak truth, when you connect the dots of Scripture, not simply the ones that tell the narrative that you want to tell, but the bigger picture of Scripture, over and over again, the story of God's love, God's patience, God's embracing, God's willingness to work communally, and not just with you, but with others. The powers of the world, even the powers of the church, won't always like that. All they'll hear is condemnation. All they'll hear is that you don't like them and don't like the way they're doing things. That's not what you're saying. 
but emotionally they're so ingrained in preserving what was. They cannot see what God is doing. It's a lot for the church today to struggle with. We hear the good news and we believe. Let's pray. Holy, holy, holy God, give us the courage to speak the truth like Stephen did, knowing that it will not be well received. Give us courage to dig deeper than the things we've always done. Let scripture lead us into a relationship with you and not just a repeating of scriptural verses. Lord, protect us from the fate of Stephen, but prepare us to be stoned if that is your need. Come, Lord Jesus, and help us through this day and every day. Amen. Friends, you are worthy, you are loved, you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. Have an awesome day.